Thanks, Tishon. Who's next? Adam. We have a break. Mm. Yeah, I need a break. We have 25 minutes. 25, 25 minutes? minutes? Yeah. Oh, where's our next break? Oh, by the way, this is supposed to be the time when you eat something quickly, yeah. if you're interested. Okay. <laughs> if you have anything to eat. There's not a break that long. There's some crackers and some words here. There's no break longer than that. After today, it goes back to the schedule. Uh, today was the only variation, the only deviation. Of course, the demons like the schedule. Yeah, yeah, do you need to take a nap? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I need a snack. Bananas? Snack. Those are the two, in my opinion. I think he's got some art stuff oh, all like throughout that. the years, but those two just oh, forget. Yeah. What's just the one that has all the Mad Men? Or is that one? That's like good. Uh, that's uh, my favorite. Uh, <laughs> Where are we, Adam? <laughs> Show me. Yeah, yeah. Shall we cut off? Yeah, that's a good one. Song for Bob Dylan. Right after the first one. She comes. Oh, she comes. She comes. Is that it? Mm -hmm. This is where he breaks all the rules. He's about to break the rules of logic. Adam, logic. May I? Please do. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? I <laughs> know <laughs> someone cares. Sashi Perkins, your shape and talk charm. We love in she and they can party. Sange Shindu Mikte Uwargi. Jokun Nanda Shingla Chupar Shok. Idam Guru Rana Mandala Kramnya Tayami. Sange Chudan Sogi Chodnamla. Chanchu Bardu Dagni Yatsuchi. Dagi Chenyen Gibbe Sunanti. Dola Pinchir Sange Jubarsho Sange Chudam Sogi Chonamla Chanchu Bardu Dagni Yamsuchi Dagi Chunyan Gibbe Sunamgi Dola Pinchir Sange Jubarsho Sange Chudam Sogi Chonamla Chanchu Bardu Dagni Yapsuji Daki Chunyan Gibbe Sunamgi Dola Penchir Sange Dubar Show Om Yam Hum Is that where we're up? Yeah. We're here. Just before 3A. Okay, you can search for 3A. Tsawan Duna means if you agree back at the beginning. And the beginning was Napo Chuchin Tsawan Kado Shibokano Yimbata. Are you telling me that black is. One of the four primary colors? Uh, good. Uh, by the way, you want to go deeper? Yeah. 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 This is extremely yes. important uh, if you're a translator of Buddhism, okay, from Tibetan. Technically, Kangrum, okay, that word there at the top there? Mm -hmm. Kangrum. You should always know Kangrum can mean any one or more. It doesn't just mean any one, okay? And there'll be places where it's extremely important. Here it's not. Here it means any one. 
but, but as a translator of, of Tibetan, you should know that Kangrung in a really heavy philosophy text can mean any one or ones. Okay, and then your, your translation will be more accurate. But here we're going to say any one of. Okay, are you saying that black is, is one of the four primary colors? Uh, one of the four primary colors. Why you say that? Because you said it was one of the primary colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we go back here. Sawanduna, I agree that black is one of the four primary colors. Okay, that's where we are. He just agreed, the other guy, that black is one of the four primary colors. Sawanduna, if you do agree to that, Napo Chen. Let's take the color black. Uh, Sawe Kadok Shipo Kanum Mayim Bar. Nice. He went down and up. He's covering himself. Tell. Just kidding. Just kidding. No, just kidding. You're right. Uh, no, it's not one of the four. Okay, he goes up, right? Mm. Sorry, he goes down. Up, because he believes it. Oh. No, it's not. No, it's not one of the four primary colors. Got it? You okay, Utpala? Search for 3A, and, and you'll be there. It's a few lines oh, above. above mm -hmm. Yeah, I came back to the text. <coughs> See, 3A is right here, down here. So that's how you know where you are. Huh. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not one of the four primary colors, because... This is color. Kapo Mayan. Kapo is not, it's not white. Sepo Yang Mayan. Mm -hmm. It's not yellow. Mapo Yang Mayan. It's not red. Lumbo Yang It's not blue. Now, and, and in so doing, Ngawang Tashi has taught you the four primary colors. Okay? Not all primary colors are one of the group of four primary colors. Mm -hmm. So maybe it'd be more accurate to translate it as the group of four primary colors. Because there are other primary colors. Okay? <coughs> okay, according to his system. <laughs> okay, according to his system. Well, where do you put black and white in, in that system, you see? Uh, so anyway, uh, now, now I'd like to talk about, yeah, it's so, I told Veronica last night, it's so nice to have people to lecture about my favorite things that no one cares about. Uh, the word kangshik, okay? Kangshik. Kangshik is extremely important because it's normally used to divide a dual reason. Uh, I, I hate your guts because number one, you're ugly. Number two, you're stupid. And you divide that by kangshik, okay? So kangshik is a formal way to say my, my reason has two parts. And, in, and you might want to put one and Two. You see what I mean? Uh, when you see Kashik in a logic text. You don't have to, but okay? Mm -hmm. Because Karpo means but Kashik. And and they say it in a very uh, dramatic way. Karpo means but Kashik. Okay? It's not white and moreover. <laughs> it's not yellow, red, or blue. So your translation, mm. the latter three have to hang together. Yeah. Mm from the first one, okay? A, it's not white. B, it's not to use the other three either. Okay, because Kangshik has that power. Okay, Kangshik. Okay, it's always a split reason. And split reasons are a very classic uh, logical method where you split the reason. Okay, so you, it's, it even has a name and it's called a split reason, and, okay. Uh, it's so much split here that when he says the first reason I gave, it has to refer to what came before Kashi. Because mm -hmm. in the next line, he says, madumna. If you don't agree to my first reason, first reason mm -hmm. which is because of the placement of Kashi, first reason means white. Mm -hmm. okay? if, you don't, if you don't agree that it's not white, what's he talking about? Uh, 
One of the primary colors. What's the chichen? Um, this uh, black. Yeah, the yeah. chichen is black. Okay. So if you don't agree, agree that black is not white, <laughs> then, then, okay, Adam's really good at this. <laughs> this very patient repetition. You know, almost as if you're talking to a two-year-old, <laughs> which Ben knows about. Uh, <laughs> say it, Napo Chichen. Napo Chichen. No, Napo Chichen. Napo Chichen. I mean, let's go back to the, okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let, I, 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 I understand. But let's just go back to the beginning. Let's take black. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carpo uh, Mayimbar. <laughs> it's not white. Uh, no, no. <laughs> now you agree to this. Carpo Mayimba Tao. Good. Yeah. Carpo Mayimba Tao. Everybody say Carpo. Carpo. Mayimba. Mayimba. Tao. Tao. No, it's not mine. Mm -hmm. Okay. You believe it, right? Mm -hmm. Because. <coughs> uh, because it's black. <laughs> yeah. It's not white because it's black. Yeah. Now I could go to the Tagric texts on lo formal logic and prove to you that this is not allowed. Mm -hmm. You can't say black is not white because it's black. Mm -hmm. You can't say black is not white because it's black. It's not a proof. Mm -hmm. It's not a proof for anybody. Mm -hmm. All I could think of when I couldn't sleep last night, or in my sleep last night, <laughs> I was like, how am I going to prove this is okay? <laughs> if you modulate your voice, it's acceptable. <laughs> oh, no. It's hard to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hard to say that. Take black. It's not white because it's black. <laughs> no, which, ref which, which, which means in English, yeah. because it is what we call black. You see, then it's almost like black done cheek. You see what I mean? In e that would be legal. You know, Trump is not a good president because he's <laughs> Trump. <laughs> you no, know? so you have to say exactly the same words. Uh, Donald Duck. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's a joke. Uh, okay, now, at least we have something to laugh about for four years. Uh, Until we blow up. Oh. Uh, yeah, three and a half years. Couple my image. So this is not a legal. This is not a legal proof. Mm -hmm. Okay, as Ben said, come on, we're not gonna put accents in his mouth. Okay. It's, it's not legal to say black is not white because it's black. It's, not a, it's against the laws of logic. Now, why he did it, was it a carving error? He repeats this kind of thing later, so I don't know. Maybe it's that he didn't go to ceremony. Uh, <laughs> is this something we would put out and talk about, or would we take your oh, idea and, and say it because it is what we call it, or is that adding too much? You're adding too much. Okay. I would just leave it alone. Maybe later he'll talk about it. And it's a, it's a huge text. Maybe later he's going to qualify it. He's going to say, back, you know, two years ago, when I said black is not white because it's black, you know, I, I wasn't really strictly keeping to this. Or he might say something like that. Okay. Uh, Makyabna assumes that the other guy said, Kyaba ma Yeah, Kyaba ma Napoena, Kapo Mayembe, Makap. Okay, you go backwards. Napoena, Kapo Mayembe, and you use the instrumental. Makap, which means covered by. Okay, so it's not necessarily the case that if something is black, it can't be white. Which is where we started out, which is why you're not allowed to repeat them. Okay. Then we say, Kyaba Yabata. Of course there's a Kyaba here. Okay, we go up. Of course, it's, of course it's necessarily the case that if something is black, it cannot be white. Because, Karpo, read. Karpo Dang. Karpo Dang Nako Niki Shitun Shitun. Shitun. Good. She means good luck. It's what uh, Allison's text was about. Yeah. This is she. She. she different she, subject. She. She. Uh, she. 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 is an important idiom in logic that means one thing, which can be those two things. Uh -huh. Okay? 
black and round, is it possible? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, okay. Uh, there is a shitun. There is one thing which can be black and round at the same time. Is there a shitun between black and white? All white and all black. No. No. Yeah, shitun me. Shitun me. There's no such thing. There cannot be one thing which is both of those. Now, a bad translator will say uh, harmony basis. <laughs> really? No, you laugh. <laughs> you know. Common locus. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see that Common locus, yeah. You ask a waiter, common locus. You say, we don't serve locusts here. <laughs> Yeah. We're out of grass. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Uh, there's no one thing which can be both black and white, in, entirely black and entirely white. You're gonna have to be. You're gonna have to put some stuff in here, because you're gonna get these idiot students who say, "Yeah, but what about a deep brown?" <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta say all black and all white. <laughs> no, and when I first studied this, I was like, what about zebras? What about checkered uh, tablecloths? You know, they're black and white. <coughs> and, and my lama couldn't express in English clearly enough that it means all white and all black. Okay. okay. Uh, now he refers to the second of his reasons. Uh -huh. uh, now, I, I'm sorry to say he didn't respect the Kangshik. When he says the second reason, he's only referring to the second element. Ah. Okay, uh, so unfortunately, he doesn't two reasons, he treats it as four. Uh -huh. Okay, although he didn't repeat Kangshik, which is kind of slovenly. Oh, usually mm. you repeat Kangshik for each one? Yeah, or you wouldn't use Kangshik in the first place. Uh -huh. If you didn't intend for the, the latter three to hang together, you wouldn't have said Kang Shik after the first one. It would just be implied that they are separate. Yeah, so he's, he's going to treat them one by one. Okay. Uh, Madubna, I disagree that black cannot be yellow. Mm -hmm. I disagree that black cannot be yellow. Then we say, with great patience, <laughs> uh, slowly, <laughs> as if you're talking to an idiot. Napo <laughs> uh, no, slower. Stretch out the oh. chair. Napo chu Okay, I, let's, I'm just repeating for you. Napo chu chu. Serpo mayimba. Tell? Tell? Serpo mayimba tell? What's the first? No, it's not yellow. Serpo mayimba tell? You believe it's not yellow, so you go up. Serpo mayimba tell? No, it's not yellow because it's. Because it's one. Uh, so he repeated, <laughs> <laughs> he repeated his bad logic. I'm sorry. Okay. It's bad. I guess I'm getting a little confused here because, uh, I mean, do you want me to read the, the Tibetan? Or, because I, I mean, it, it would go a little easier for me if I could just go with the, with the English. Oh, no, I want you to do both. Stretch your, <laughs> stretch your head. Uh, then he said, my cup. What's it mean? Uh, there's no, there's no provision. They don't. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It just means necessary. Just because something's black doesn't mean it's not. Uh, yellow. Good. Okay. That's my cup. Mm -hmm. Then we say, of course there's a cup. It is true that if something is black, it can't be. Uh, yellow. Yellow, because. Serpa da napo ningawa. Hang on the girl. Otherwise, it means horse saddle. <laughs> because yellow and black are two contradictory states. Or yeah. Two contradictory things. Yeah. So are contradictory. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. It's that it's mm. it's that you totally it's Sorry? Yeah. Oh, you say like totally black and yellow this time? Uh, well, well, if I were going to translate, I'd say it's, it's contradictory for something to be all yellow and, and to be all black at the same time. Oh. Something like that. Well, that was the difference between the sheets and the yeah. go-off. Yeah. So, you know, mm -hmm. uh, as in the case of lying, the mental picture that's communicated to the reader must be what's intended. Mm -hmm. 
or yeah. else it's a bad translation. Okay? Uh, uh, an English person reading this should get exactly the same picture in their mind as a Tibetan reading this. You see what I mean? <laughs> then you know you translate it. So, you know, you can, you can test it on your wife. You know, honey, you know, tell me what it means to say black and yellow are contradictory. And then she'll say, you know, I don't know, they don't get along. And, and, uh, and then you have to say, what does it mean when I say something can't be all black and all yellow at the same time? Then, then it's more clear to her. She gets the right picture in her mind of the Tibetan. Mm -hmm. And that's the goal of translation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because like here, I'm talking just about pure colors, that the color yellow mm -hmm. is the color yellow, which is... Yeah, I know. It's an abstract, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As opposed to something being... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd say they're the same thing. He... Okay. Uh, now... Takchima la ringda. Let me check something, okay? So I'm going to search the text. I want to be able to come back here. I put my three dollar signs. <laughs> uh, like I'm leaving this section, I'm going to look later on in the text. How does he say ring da? Because sometimes it's e. But obviously this author prefers a because mm -hmm. it's the same every time. Okay, got it? So I was going to explain to you why it was wrong, but he seems to prefer it. Hmm. Okay, there's a, I'll teach you an idiom, those of you who care, <laughs> which is ring day. Ring day means follow the same pattern for the rest. Okay. So they'll say, they'll have the full debate for yellow, they'll have the full debate for white, and then they'll say, shen la ring day. You know, follow the same pattern with the other two colors. Uh, apostrophe D R E. Maybe S also? Let me check. R I G S. It's an idiom in, in Buddhist scripture, okay? So it's worthwhile to learn. It means follow the same pattern we just described. Here's an example of it. See, watch the red, okay? Okay, there it is. Very, pretty common. This is common usage. I'll show you. Look, by the way, note that Gopher has a previous match. I was going too fast. I skipped one. I had Ted put it in like a couple years ago. Okay, wait, let me go back. This is very, very common use of day, ring day. Shen nam la ring day. Follow the same pattern for the others. <coughs> So you have 10 things, you prove it in two cases, and then you say the rest are the same. Mm -hmm. The same pattern follows with the rest. Very useful to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, here he uses ring da, that's okay. It's the same idea. It's the thing. Tak chimala, for the latter two reasons. Chima means latter, mm -hmm. which in English means the, the, uh, the two on the end. Uh, ring da, follow the same pattern. Okay, I'm not going to write it all out for you. Okay, it gets boring anyway. Okay, we just shot the second guy. Okay, he, f he quit, he walked away. Okay, now we're on to the next guy because it says Kachignari. Okay. Uh, read the whole thing in English or Tibetan as you prefer. Kachignari, Yenlak di Karogina, Yenlak di Karogiepo. <coughs> Yimbe kyap. Yimbe kyap. Serna. Serna. Okay. Serna means uh, miserly. Okay. Really. Serna means if you say. Which one is here? Yeah, if you say Serna. Okay, Serna. So you can't say Serna. That means miserly. The opposite of Dana Paranimita. Okay. Kachinari. If something is a yenakikado, uh, one of the uh, one of the is a branch of color. Yeah, secondary color. Secondary color. Here, yenak is used for for secondary. Mm -hmm. If something is a secondary color, it must be one of the gay secondary colors. Eight. Yeah. Okay. It must be one of the eight. And here, garung only means one, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Well then, let's take the color of Jam Young Marcer. That's uh, orange. Uh, <laughs> mm. 
yellow manjushri, orange manjushri? Uh, let's go look up the color of manjushri. <laughs> <laughs> reddish yellow? Yeah, it's a reddish yellow. Uh, russet is, I like russet. Oh, God. Golden yellow. Man, we paid for good internet and no uh, good. Yeah. Anyway, it means a golden, golden with a burnished red. Okay, I don't know what you wanna, you know, I don't know what you wanna call it. It's pretty seventies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I'll let you know no, next week. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Uh, <laughs> it means the, uh, I would call it the reddish gold color of Manjushri. Reddish gold. You know, you could say russet or orange, but the point is we're trying to talk about a mix of two colors. Uh, in the, the wording should Mars there indicates two primary colors mixed. So, so you're. No, I know, but in your in your translation for yeah. this subject, I think you want to emphasize that it's a base yellow with some red in it. You see what I mean? I think you got to think about it in English. Are people familiar enough with orange to know that it's a mixture? No, well that assumes a second step by the reader, and you know, I would say the reddish gold, reddish gold. If it were me. Mm -hmm. I'd say reddish gold. There you go. So, uh, yeah, he's all different colors. Anyway, it's kind of like this. There's gold and there's a reddish, okay. Okay, you got it. Uh, take the reddish gold color of Manjushri. Are you telling me it's one of the eight yen laki mm, One of the eight secondary colors? Uh, yeah, okay. Then the guy says chicha. Which means, uh, why do you no, say that? Yeah. Why do you say that? Mm -hmm. And we say, because it is a, it is a secondary color. color. What we learn from that <coughs> exchange, right? What are they called in, in Chang'e? Yeah, the result yeah, of the exchange. That's true talk. I don't think That's what think it means. So. That's Siddhanta. No, but what do we call it in Chang'e? There's a technical word in there. Uh, anyway. Uh, what we learn from that is that there's a group of eight secondary colors, but there are also other secondary colors. Mm -hmm. There are eight primary secondary colors, <laughs> and there are other secondary secondary colors. Okay, are you okay? <laughs> okay. So, yen laki kara gebu kara yimba tao. So, are you telling me it's one of the eight secondary colors? Why do you say that? Because it's one of the secondary colors. Mm -hmm. Well, I never said that if something was one of the secondary colors, it had to be one of the eight secondary colors. Kevake. That's what you just said. Yeah, but you just, uh, you just said that, okay. Oh, well, I changed my mind. Then the reddish gold color of Manjushri is not a secondary color. <coughs> and then with great patience... So, suppose... Mm -hmm. Oh, um, it is. So, it'd be... Uh, it is so a secondary color because marble uh, dung. Because uh, red and yellow, the two red and yellow, yeah, are because it's a colors. secondary color made of red and gold. Okay. Yeah. Okay, are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> you're, it's, you're remembering your husband, right? Yeah. Reddish gold is secondary color because it's red and gold put together. And apparently, that's what it means to be a secondary color. <laughs> well, well, technically, he said it's the secondary color which is produced by the combination of red and gold. Uh -huh. So that's a pretty good answer, right? I have no idea. Uh, Madhubna, I disagree. That the uh, reddish gold color of Manjushri is a secondary color which is produced by red and gold. Well, then. Patient, patient, and a slow chill, please. Jamyang Marse ki karo chen. Good, chen. Yeah, good, he went up. 
Uh, it is too a secondary color which is produced by gold and red because it's because it's red and gold. It's, it, no, because it's reddish gold. Because it's reddish gold. Yeah. Now I'll ask you. Did he repeat his subject as his reason? Well, he said it slightly differently. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah. Okay, learn that. Learn that. Yeah. Take the reddish gold color of Manjushri. It is a secondary color because it's reddish gold. That's, red. that's legal. The wording just has to be different a little bit. Okay? Any one syllable different, you're okay. Uh, generally, yeah, first he said, take the reddish gold color of Manjushri. Mm. It's a secondary color because it's reddish gold. Um. Now that's legal. If he said because it's the reddish gold color of Manjushri, he, it's illegal. Um. Okay, you cannot repeat exactly the subject, but you can say something close. Mm. And it's different. <laughs> okay. By the way, the assumption is that someone would have seen the second but not the first. Go, reddish gold. It is reddish gold. No, I'm just, I mean this. Now, this is the principle of all Buddhist argument. This is a principle of all Buddhist debate. You, you give a subject, you say something about it which they don't understand yet, and then you say something about it which they already accept. Take a subject, Say something about it that they don't know yet, don't understand yet, and then you prove it by something they already accept belongs to that subject, okay? And that's, that's always necessary. So what it means is, if your proof is correct, there must exist a person who recognizes this, but not this. There must exist a person who recognizes this, but not this. They recognize that the color of Manjushri is reddish gold, but they don't recognize that the color of Manjushri is a secondary color. Mm -hmm. Something like that, okay? And if you can't find a person like that, now, <laughs> can you find a person who accepts that black is black, who doesn't think that, you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe you can read the reason. Well, I'll get there. Let's see, Mbiche. Sawadana, if you agree that the reddish gold color of Manjushri is a secondary color arrived at by mixing red and gold, mm -hmm. if you agree, Jamyan Serdo Kikado, Marse Kikado Chuchu. Take the color of reddish, reddish gold, gold Manjushri. Manjushri. Yen la ki kado gebo kanu mayin bata. No, it's not one of the, the eight, uh, eight secondary, secondary colors. colors. And then he names the eight secondary colors. Mm -hmm. And they are weird. <laughs> and it's all Stanley's fault because they come from the Abhidharma. <laughs> okay? <laughs> all right, so we're going <clears> to... <throat> the Dura department's going to write the Abhidharma department and ask them to just clear that up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Adam is going to write to Stanley. Here are the eight secondary colors according to Abhidharma. Number one, tin. Tin. Rain or smoke? Cloud. cloud. Okay, cloud is one. Tua. Tua is extremely important in the study of logic. Okay, it's smoke. Tua. Tua. And that's a long story. Tua. Dul means like dust storm. Okay, dul means dust. Dust storm. Uh, but it refers to the color of of a dust storm. In whatever place. And kukna, kukna means the color of fog. That's kukna. Out there. It's not kukpa. Okay, that's different. <laughs> this is second column. That's the first column. Kukna. Okay. And traditionally, the eight secondary colors from the Abhidharma, which now you're learning are really shades, right, uh, are grouped four and four. Okay, you say the first four and then you say the second four. This is traditional. The first four are the, the color of a cloud in the sky, sort of a diffused white. And then the color of smoke, diffused gray, dull, diffused brown, 
and then Kugna, I don't know, how are you going to distinguish that from smoke? It's more diffused than smoke. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's fog. Lighter gray. Okay, yeah, lighter gray, maybe. Okay, smoke could be black, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then it gets weirder, okay? Then it gets weirder. That's the first four. Then he did a conch sheet, oh, yeah. which means he wants the first four to hang together and he wants the second four to hang together. So it doesn't just go with reason? Or no, it can go with anything. Okay. Uh, Noah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it means... Uh, uh, shining, like uh, daylight. You can almost say daylight. Okay, Noah and Mumba is the opposite. Darkness. Okay, so you can say, uh, what do you call it? That the sky is illuminated? Which one? Noah. Opposite of the sky is dark. Bright. Lit up. Lit up, yeah, lit up, okay? Something like that. Good luck. That's your problem. <laughs> Nawa means lit up. Mumba means dark. Chema means sh shadow. And Nime Yose means the, the sunlight. Those are considered the, the second group of four secondary colors in the Abhidharma. You would expect purple, orange. You don't get them. It's <laughs> kind of beautiful. They're kind of shades. They're more shades of black and white. Okay. Okay. Shippo kalu mayimbe So it's not true to say that the reddish gold color of Manjushri is one of the eight secondary colors because it is neither the color of a cloud, the color of smoke, the color of a dust storm, the color of fog, the color of light sky, lit up sky, the color of dark sky, the color of shadow, and the color of a, of a sunlight. It's a ray of sunlight, okay? Okay, got it? Yeah. Is it a secondary color? Yeah. yeah, but it's not one of the classic eight from the Abhidharma Kosha. Okay. Uh, he doesn't say it here, but it is. Okay. If it's a color and not a primary color, it's a secondary color. Yeah. Uh, you can say that. But if it's a primary color, it does not necessarily have to be one of the four primary colors, because there are other primary colors, such as Napo. And apparently Napo doesn't count as the same as... Orchids? Yeah, dark, Mumba. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, got it? All right. Dark Rene ne Drupte. Dark Rene means... Rene means... Yeah, each of these reasons... Uh, each one of those eight reasons I just gave is correct. Mm -hmm. It's not cloud, it's not smoke, it's not dust storm, it's not fog, it's not... Okay, so tak redin ne dupte means each one of those eight is correct. Each one of those eight reasons is correct because the color, the reddish gold color of Manjushri is the same as the reddish gold color of Manjushri. <laughs> He went back to his dung cheek. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll repeat. Uh, the reddish gold color of Manjushri is not one of the eight s classical secondary colors because it's, it is the same thing as the reddish gold color of Manjushri. It, you know, and that could easily, that could s conceivably slide into the uh, archetype of the reddish gold color of Manjushri. So it's not crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's not crazy. When you say something's one with another thing, okay. you are almost turning it both into archetypes. You can play with that if you have nothing to do tonight. <laughs> All right. Nobody stopped me. Okay, let's keep going. Shenyang. <laughs> uh, okay, now, in terms of shooting people, does Shenyang represent a new cowboy ran into the room? No, it's a second shot on the old cowboy. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Moreover, with the same argument, mm -hmm. same same kachik. Mm -hmm. Okay, we didn't get to a new kachik. Okay, he's just shooting the same cowboy twice. Shenyang, jungle chichen. Take jungle. Yeah. Yenagi Gyep Kano Gyepo Kano 
Himbata. By the way, usually the sarcastic one comes right out to the start of the debate. Are you telling me that it's one of the... One of the eight uh, secondary colors? Yeah, are you telling me it's one of the eight secondary colors? Then he said chicha, which means... Why? Uh, why? why you say that? <laughs> why you say that? And we say, because it's a secondary color. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> you're the guy that was saying all secondary colors are one of the eight secondary colors. So I'll give you another example. You don't like this reddish gold thing? Let's talk about green. Yeah. Is it, a, is it one of the eight secondary colors? Is it smoke, cloud, fog, sunlight? No, it's green. Okay. So in the West, in Western color theory, it is a secondary color, a combination of yellow and blue. But in, in Buddhist color, Abhidharma color theory, it's not. It's not one of those eight shades, really, right? Okay, you like a color in between. Uh, why do you say that? Just because something is a secondary color doesn't mean it has to be one of the eight secondary colors, and we say Kevake. Kevake? Well, you just got through saying Yeah, you just agreed to that. You, you're the one who said that, okay? Oh, you're right. So I go back and change my story. It's not a secondary color. <coughs> Madhubna? Well, then. Consider it green. Good. You like a Tau. Oh, tau. Good. You like. Of course, it's a secondary color because now here it gets really weird. Na apple dan stuff boniki you like a kado yimbi because it's a secondary color made by mixing black and yellow. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. So probably in Tibet they believe then. <laughs> <coughs> you get green when you mix black and yellow. Then like Krishna can be black or blue, right? Like <coughs> could be blue and blue. That really just means dark. Yeah, Krishna just means dark, really. But anyway. Uh, now you learn something, you may not accept it, that's all right. But in their world, when you mix black and yellow, you get green. Okay. okay. Aren't the black deities really just a very dark blue? Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, you're both saying the same thing. Could be. But there's a word for that. It's called ting, ting nut. Ting nut. Dark blue. It's called, Krishna color is called ting nut. And it's in the color theory. Uh, but we'll get there. Okay. Napo da sepo niki yen like a color in between. Madhubna, I disagree that green is made of black and yellow. Okay. Changu chu chu. Then let's take green. Green. Napo niki yen like a color in between. It is to a secondary color that comes from mixing black and yellow because. Uh, because it is green. Yeah, there he did it again. Sawan <laughs> dana. Now, if you agree back at the beginning, now we got to go back and find the beginning. Uh, where we said, oh, is it one of the eight secondary colors? Are you telling me it's one of the eight secondary colors? Now he changed his idea and he went back and he said, yes, it is. Now I say it is. Then we say, Yenaki Kara Gebokanu Mayambar. Tau? Yeah, no, it's not one of the eight secondary colors because it's Jungle Danjik. Yeah, it's the same as green. Mm -hmm. oh. it's, it's, it's the one and the same as green. It's identical to green. How's that? That's a nice translation. Dang chig. Uh, identical? It's identical to green. Okay. Okay. Identical to mean, means it's, they're exactly the same. Uh, there's an expression in English called identical twins. Uh -huh. uh, two kids come out at the same time and they look exactly the same. That's called identical twin. Okay. Uh, it comes from the word identity, right? Identical. Okay. We shot the third, second guy? Third guy. How many guys we shot so far? Oh, just went at him again now. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, we're going to go to a new guy. <laughs> okay, all those other guys are dead. Uh, by the way, it gets more elegant. You know, it starts off very deceivingly simple, and it quickly gets heavy. 
Okay, it quickly gets like you feel like you're in the ocean instead of a swimming pool. Okay, uh, read please. Patrick Nani. The line before that. If something is a color, it must. I'm sorry. If something is form, it must be color. Okay. Uh, now, rupa, the Sanskrit word rupa, it has two different meanings in Buddhism. Okay, it has two different meanings in, in Buddhism. In the five skandhas, in the five heaps, in the five parts of a person, it means all the physical parts. Physical. So, okay, rupa skanda. Okay, when you have five heaps, it means all the physical parts, including smells, tastes, okay, all the physical parts of a person. Yeah. First of the five skandhas, okay? But, in the first chapter of the Abhidharma, which we're about to learn, uh, we can divide the world, we can divide people in three ways. This is the subject of the first chapter of the Abhidharma. You can say five heaps, you can say twelve doorways, or you can say eighteen categories. Okay, in Sanskrit, it's uh, Panchaskanda, the five skandhas, or you can say ayadana, dvadasha, the twelve ayadanas, or you can say the eighteen datus, datu, okay? So, <coughs> when you divide the person into twelve, it's the six consciousnesses and the six objects of those consciousnesses. Uh -huh. Eye consciousness and things to see, uh, ear consciousness and things to hear. Smell, smell consciousness and things to smell, taste consciousness and things to taste, touch consciousness and touches, yeah. and then things to thinking and things to think about. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. In that case, rupa has a different meaning mm -hmm. because it's the name of the object only of the eye. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's called forms. Oh, when we're talking, yeah. So when you're talking five skandhas, Rupa means all physical parts of a person. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about the twelve ayatanas, mm -hmm. it only refers to the object of the eye. The same word mm -hmm. only refers to the object of the eye. And Vasubandhu justifies it mm -hmm. by saying human beings are 90% visual. Mm -hmm. Human beings in the physical world, 90% of their perceptions are visual. Not smells, not sounds, not tastes. We live, we live in the world of what we see. That's mainly where people live, you know. They don't smell. You smell something once an hour, once every few minutes, but you're seeing things all the time. And you live in that world. So he says, therefore, I put the same name, I put the heap name on the object of the eye. Okay, I sorry, actually, I put the object of the eye name on the heaps, on all the heaps. And so on all the physical parts. So the translation of rupa as form is not bad. It's a pretty good, because it's ambiguous. It's not clear, and it's not supposed to be clear. Okay. Chinese, you want to go deeper? What in Chinese is what? It's color. Wrong, completely wrong. Yeah. You're about to see why that's completely, you can't say that at all. Because the object of the eye is divided into two, colors and shapes. So you can't say colors are divided into colors and shapes. You'll get in trouble. You want to go deeper? Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Does Rupa have an English cognate? Of course. <laughs> There's no K in, in Rupa. Or in corpse. Corpse? I mean, K, K, sound. <laughs> K, sound. <laughs> I almost hit him. K <laughs> There's no K, sound in, uh, in Rupa. Yeah, but Rupa comes from the proto indo root query. You're so smart. Okay, so there's an Indo European root, which is older than Sanskrit, was Kaverb. Kaverb. And the kaf drop out and become rupa. The kava would drop out and become rupa. Okay? But in the old days, it was kavrupa. Kavru, kav, and then it became corpse, meaning body or uh, the army corps of engineers. 
Mm-hmm. Which one? You know, C-O-R-P-S. C-O-R-P-S is how it's spelled in the C-O-R-P-S or C-O-R-P-S-E. They yeah. both mean body. Uh-huh. So there is a cognate. Uh-huh. There is an English word that, that's connected to Rupa. And it's, it's Kavir. <laughs> it Your Corpus, Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi. Corporeal. Yeah. Corporeal. Maybe rough is connected. But anyway. Okay. Uh, so why we went to that exercise. Why we went to that exercise. Why we went to this exercise. <laughs> is that the, the Kachignane is going to say, if something is rupa, it must be a color. Oh. Okay. If something is rupa, it must be a color. <coughs> then go. It's a, it's a we pronounce this. This is a diphthong yeah. syllable in, in Tibetan, very rare. Yeah. Because it's Sanskrit. Senden. 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 Which is really Chandan. Chan, chan 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 oh. uh, if you want to mispronounce Sanskrit. <coughs> and it means... Uh, Sandalwood. Okay, sandalwood. It's called senden. So Tibetans don't call it, there's no Tibetan name, they call it the Sanskrit name, senden, which is C A N D A N, chanden. But that's a mispronunciation. It was senden. Okay, senden means sandalwood. Chi means the smell of. So what's sendenki? Sendenki chi chi chen. Are you telling me it's... Uh, I'm sorry. Let's take the smell of sandalwood. a piece of sandalwood. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kado yimba. No, first one's always sarcastic. First one's always sarcastic. I'm still getting confused about which one is sarcastic. Yeah, yimba tao. Are you telling me it's a color? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why do you say that? Sukimbe mm-hmm. Because it is form. Now, is it form? <coughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the ayatana of form? No. Is it the object of the eye? No. 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 The smell uh, of sandalwood. No. 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 no, it's not the object of the eye. So it's not rupa when rupa means the object of the eye, but it is rupa when rupa means one of the five heaps. Right. All physical stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to go deeper? Yeah. 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 If you don't want to go deeper, I'll take a nap. Yes. Uh, the first skanda includes everything around you. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah, okay. Whoa, boy. Now it makes sense. Yeah, now it makes sense, okay? <laughs> now, a lot of people don't understand that. Right. The person is divided into five parts. The first part is the physical part. So they think it just means your body, but it's not true. It also means the door because it's part of my experience. Mm-hmm. Okay, the things I see are also part of the first skanda. Okay. It's not your thoughts. Huh? It's not your thoughts, though. Well, that's another debate, and we're going to get yeah. there. Yeah. That, that's coming. <laughs> that's Madhyamika. <laughs> <laughs> Whose hat do we have on right now? <laughs> Whose hat? Sal Trantica. We are second school. We are second. You can't tell from his head? He's been wearing a Sal Trantica hat. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So let's consider the smell of a sandalwood incense, for example. Are you telling me it's a color? Why do you say that? Because it's form. Because it is form. But here he means... Yeah, all physical things. He means the, the suk of skanda, the skanda of suk, not the ayatana of suk. And he's going to get there. He's going to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, just because if something is form doesn't mean uh, it has to be a color. Come on, kebake. Well, then consider. No, well, kebake. You just, you just yeah, you just said that. Duh. You forgot what you said like 10 milliseconds ago? <laughs> kebake. Oh, in that case, I agree. Uh, oh, I disagree. Uh, the, the, the smell of incense is not. Form. Madrumna, if you say that, if you disagree that the smell of incense is form, sandang. Now, here comes the patient one mm-hmm. with a long chair. Go. <laughs> well, then consider. Well, sandang gi. Sandang gi. 
Chechen. 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 Do I have to repeat it again to you? Yeah. Okay, by the way, let's practice retroflex D. Say da 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 da. D D D D D. Now turn your tongue back. T T D D T. Okay, so Tibetan DRI is not the same as English DRI. Okay, it's not like drip, drip, drip. Okay, it's da, d, 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 d. Okay, d. And in, in, in Sanskrit, that's a second row. They don't have kachatabatsa, they have kachatabatsa. And if you don't want to know what's kachatabatsa, you have to ask that nun to teach you your kakaga. <laughs> Tibetan has, uh, you know, karo. That's a long story. I'm not going <laughs> Anyway, T. Good. Yeah. By the way, if you say it correctly, you make a small smile. Look. T. Okay? So you can check your student's mouth. You know, say T. And if they don't go like T, then they're not saying it right. If they go T, then it's something's wrong, okay? Three, three, okay. Chen nege ti che chen. Consider the smell of incense. Su yin ba It is form? Good. It is two form because su rung yin me Because it's one of your forms. No, this now, this is beautiful. Suk su rung Suk su rung Suk su rua. Suk su rua. Suk su rua. Suk su rua. Suk Now listen. How do you prove something is red? You see, it's so weird. It's so difficult. What's the definition of red? <laughs> now, in scientists, you can say a certain wavelength of light. It's possible in science you can say a certain wavelength of light. You know. But in ancient India, okay, you ready? It's so cool. The definition of red is anything you can point to as red. <laughs> okay, you want the definition of green? Yeah. This. It's this. Okay, that's the only way you can prove a color. Okay. What's the definition of green? It, it's whatever a green drink is. Okay? It's this color. If, somebody, if some guy come from another country and say, what's green? You go, it, it's this color. Yeah. You have to point to it. That's what sukrung means. Sukrung is an abbreviation mm -hmm. of suksurungwa, fit to be pointed to as, and there's a text which I can't find today, but anyway. Suksutendurungwa. Uh, no, to, to point to, no, ten, to point to, yeah, so fit to be pointed to as green is the definition of green. Because it's so basic, there's nothing below that. Uh, they didn't know about wavelength, yeah. Okay. One minute, we just started. <laughs> <coughs> so did did it, did we prove? Did we make a proof? Uh, sorry, what are we talking about? The smell of incense, the smell of sandalwood incense, is a form because you can point to it as being that form. Is that a good reason? Yeah, that's a definition of form. That's a definition of form. It's a to say it in normal English. Consider the smell of incense. It's physical because it's something you can point to and say, this is like something physical. Because that's the only definition you can give for something physical on a certain level. Per personal experience. Okay, got it? It's very interesting. We have another minute, right? I have, I have half a minute. My uh, cap. Just because you can point to something as being physical doesn't prove it's physical. Kaba <laughs> yabata? Of course there's a kaba. Of course it's true. If you can point to something as being physical, it must be physical because suk rung suki is the definition of form. Yeah, that's the definition of form. Give me a break. That's the definition of being physical. 
is that you can point to it as being physical. Okay. Let's stop there. That's a very major concept in the Abhidharma also, the, the definition of green. And it makes sense, right? It's something you can say this is green. <laughs> point to and say this is green. For a person who is not colorblind. In this world, in this year, at this location, I mean, you can go crazy. Well, <laughs> well, we're talking about a world where people accept it as a definition of green. Kind of common ground by a human being. Yeah, we have no idea what, what dogs see when they look at this. I mean, yeah. Probably a, a certain color of gray, they think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe dogs wrote the secondary colors. <laughs> Dogs were out the secondary color. I like that. Like biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>